page. So I can click, hold, drag my pen tool to get that same size. Then I click, hold, shift key, drag my pen tool to get that same size. Okay, so this curve I'm dragging down, this curve I'm dragging up, so to create this curve, click with my shift key, hold down, drag down. So again, you just want to have this tangent line be the same height consistently. The grid helps me see this. So I can click, hold, drag to create the pen tool. So this is very different technique than clicking, 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 clicking with your pen tool. But watch what I can do with this shape. I can take this object, select the object, anything about an object. If you looked at my previous videos, it's under the object menu. So I'm gonna take the object, I'm in the pen tool. Does the pen tool select? No, the pen tool creates paths. So I hold down the command key to select, move it to the left, holding down the option key, Macintosh, control, uh, alt key, windows. Make sure you let go of your mouse hand first. So I let go of my mouse hand first. So I simply made a clone copy. Don't confuse cloning by holding down the option key or the alt key with copy and pasting. Two different things. Copy implies pasting under the edit menu. So now we're going to select these two paths here, this path and this path. So technically, this is an object. Anything about the object is under the object menu. Okay, based on these choices here, based on these choices, what do we want to do? We want to join the path. So path, path, join, command J for Macintosh, control J for Windows. So that join this path. Now, this is still an open path until I come over here, drag these two anchor points and hit command J. Object, path, path, join, command J. Okay. Now, some of you might have, be having difficulty when you try to do this because you can only select two anchor points. So as an example, I'm gonna hide my grid here because it's driving me insane here. So, grid, I can hide my grid by doing command, single quote. So, I want to turn this, this is now strokes with black, it's filled with none. Strokes with black, filled with none. I can exchange that by hitting shift X. Now it's filled with black and stroked with none. So, if you have a bunch of straight points, so let's say you started the path, you started the path, you started the path, you started the path, or you deleted part of a path. So right now I have these all these different stray points here, but in preview mode, I can't see those stray paths. So if you go to view and you outline command Y, command Y, control Y, windows, toggles between preview, outline mode, preview, outline mode. So here I can see those stray points, okay? So if you have a bunch of stray points here, you can get rid of those very simply by going to anything about selecting is under the select menu. So select object stray points. So how cool is that? I'm getting you to think the way Illustrator thinks, the way all software thinks based on choices, based on menu choices. So object stray points and it selects the stray points. So therefore I can delete the stray points. Command Y, Control Y. So the pen tool basically is a very powerful tool, but you're simply clicking, 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 clicking to create the path. Now, one other thing here. Let's create an oval, L key. I'm gonna create an oval, and let's, because we can, let's fill our oval with yellow so I can see my path better. So let's zoom in here for a second. Space bar, grab the page, move the page. Now, here's how this works here. By default, any object is created of anchor points and paths, which is something the pen tool does by default. It creates objects, which creates the anchor point to the path. 
So this is an example of a closed path. So if I hit the X key to exchange, X to exchange for the stroke down here, I'm going to stroke this with black, black, four pixels. Now, very, very important step here. This is a closed path. If I select this anchor point, it's going to select the anchor point to the next anchor point on the left and the next anchor point on the right. So if you hit the delete key right now, it's going to create an half an oval open path. So therefore, I can select these two anchor points and once again, object, path, join. Command and Z and does that. Control Z for Windows. Now, let's go back to this for a second. So this object is made up of one, two, three, four anchor points and one, two, three, four paths. Now, if I go to the P for the pen tool, P for pen tool, and I put my cursor right there, this turns to a minus symbol. This is going to delete the anchor point or better vocabulary, remove the anchor point. So if I did this, this would be physically deleting anchor point, deleting anchor point. If you just want to remove the anchor point, you can do that with your pen tool, turns it to a minus tool and I can remove the anchor point. Now I have three anchor points, but it's still a closed path. So how the pen tool works, if you're on an anchor point, it removes the anchor point. If you're not on an anchor point, as an example, if I click right here, it turns into a plus symbol, so I can add an anchor point. I come over here and I can add an anchor point. So therefore, I have an anchor point here. I'm gonna hold down the shift key, command to select, command to select this, the direct selection tool, hold down the command key, Macintosh, control key, Windows. In addition to that, hold down the shift key. Now I have this anchor point selected and this anchor point selected. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, command minus or control minus. So this anchor point selected and this anchor point selected. So as an example, I could go to my scale tool. I could pick a point to scale from, I'm gonna pick the center, and I could take these two anchor points and move them up to create a different type of shape with my path. So the pen tool is very, very flexible because you can choose to remove or add anchor points to a path. So again, P for pen, select, I'm sorry, click, click, and if I hold down the shift key, it's gonna click again. So this created a one, two, three anchor points. It's an open path. So if you click back up here, you will create a closed path or I can join those two paths. So just because we can't, I'm gonna make the stroke of this be, let's make the stroke of this be pink. So I can see my anchor points a little bit better here. I'm gonna zoom in, command plus, space bar, grab the page, move the page. So if I click right here, what is that going to do? It's gonna put a new anchor point. And if I click right here, it's gonna put a new anchor point. So therefore I have an anchor point here. So because I have an anchor point here, if I hit my left arrow key, it's going to move that anchor point. Now, this is, the, this is going to move the anchor point based on your keyboard preferences. So Command key K, Macintosh, Control K, Windows, is going to change my keyboard increments, which means every time I hit the arrow keys, you can move in this direction. So as an example, I'm inside this dialog box. All Adobe dialog boxes work the same way. If I want to increase the size of this, I can hit my up arrow key. I want to decrease the size, I can hit my down arrow key. So if I'm here, I can hit my up arrow key, I can hit my down arrow key inside the box. So <laughs> let's set this to quarter inch, which is 18 points. Now, let's say I didn't know that. Let's say the only thing I knew is that there's 72 points to an inch, which technically that's true. So I could say if I want a quarter inch every time I hit my arrow keys, I can say 72 divided by 4. 72 divided by 4 is 18 points. So what's going to happen now? So now when I select this anchor point, it's going to move quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch up, 
quarter inch down because that's where I set my preferences, command K. Okay, so the pen tool is a very powerful tool. So there's two ways to use the pen tool. You can click, 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 which is gonna make straight lines. Or if I click and drag, it's gonna create a curve. And if I click hold, drag, hold it down the shift key, it will constrain movement to a 45 angle. Other way to use the pen tool is how we did with our grid. You can click drag first before you click again. So this is clicking, dragging, click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, which is different from click, 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 click. So everything in this program is an object. The objects are made of anchor points. Anchor points create the path. The pen tool is the most powerful tool in the whole program because with this tool, you can create both curves and straight lines. And as we just discovered, the entire universe is made up of either a straight line or a curve. So I hope this helps you with the pen tool. The pen tool is simply plotting points. If you simply click from one point to another, you can make a straight line. But if you click and hold, you create a curve. And if you click and hold and hold down the shift key, it will constrain the curve to a 45 or 90 degree angle, whatever it's closest to. So enjoy your day. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash think, learn, earn. Enjoy the day.